Sharon Osborne defends Piers Morgan on real time calls Prince Harry the poster boy of white privilege. Osborne claimed that Queen Elizabeth being from a different generation was a factor in her dispute with Meghan Markle. Sharon Osborne appeared on Real Time with Bill Mayer on Friday night and addressed her controversial departure from the CBS daytime talk show The Talk. Bill Mayer kicked off the interview by asking how Osborne was doing since she was last seen on TV. I'm angry, I'm hurt she responded, among other remarks but stressed, I'm a fighter. On the subject of what led to Osborne's ousting from the talk mayor told the former co-host, I don't think anything happened. He then recapped the ordeal, which involved Osborne defending her friend Piers Morgan, who similarly left Good Morning Britain over his critical remarks about Meghan Markle following the Oprah Winfrey interview. So he was called a racist and lost his job and you were called a racist and lost your job. Do I have it right? Mayer asked. You got it right Osborne responded. That's exactly how it went. Who is the racist and why? And this is what I'm trying to figure out Mayer said. Me too, me too Osborne replied. I've been called so many things in my life. I am so used to being called names but a racist I will not take. Mayer then questioned whether one was deemed a racist if they didn't believe everything that Markle said, a notion he called insane. Osborne explained to Mayer the woke language she was told, in which the Duchess of Sussex was entitled to her feelings and that Markle had allegedly been stripped of those by Morgan. Mayer then insisted that the royal family was cold to Markle and that racism could have possibly been a factor. The old bags a hundred Mayer said of Queen Elizabeth II, who will turn 95 next Wednesday. She's from a different generation Osborne responded, defending the Queen. Right, they are cold people and she took it, probably some of it was racism. Some of it she took as racism it's like no, they are cold to everybody Mayer continued. They're notoriously non-huggy Osborne said. I get it because of her age, she's a different generation. She's entitled to her opinion, he's entitled to his and this is what it's all about she continued. Mayer then cited one of Osborne's former talk colleagues, Elaine Welteroth, who said. I think when you deny a woman or a woman of color their truth and their experiences, you're not just denying them, you're denying every woman and woman of color who sees themselves in this person's story. Deny a woman he's doubting her mayor said of Morgan. That's not the same as denying. No, it's not Osborne agreed. She's entitled to her opinion, Piers is entitled to his, and that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. And then you're entitled to have a disagreement, discuss it in a normal way. All this drama over somebody saying, I don't agree with my friend but he's entitled to his opinion Mayer exclaimed. I mean, I didn't agree with everything she said. Harry had the weight of the world on his shoulders. Really. He's sixth in line for a job that has no responsibility, no power. Osborne went on to call Prince Harry the poster boy of white privilege. He sits there and says daddy cut him off so he's not on the wages anymore. And he was boohooing about it. You can't feel empathy for that because you're a healthy, bright, educated young man. You can go do whatever you want to do, your life is your own Osborne said.